Darwin's header. And suddenly Miller finds some space. And he finds the route opening up to goal. And he finds the back of the net. Hello and welcome back to another Wolves update on the old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse. Thank you for joining me again. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you do. Because there's going to be transfers going off in the next day or so. I'm going to start off with the rumour that three players were shown around the Compton training park today. Unconfirmed reports, but apparently one of them was Barry Douglas, who is a fullback playing for a team in Turkey, who I can't remember the name of at the top of my head, but was linked with going to Celtic. He apparently is one of them. The other one apparently is a George Mendes player, possibly Jose Sarr, who was the Porto, Porto goalkeeper last season under Nuno, so that's another possibility. And then the third player reportedly could be Iuri Medeiros, who currently plays for sport in Lisbon. It's been reported in the Portuguese media that uh, he could be coming to Wolves. He's an exciting looking winger. So perhaps he could be somebody that we are looking at. In terms of uh, big money moves, there is a big rumour at the moment that Louis Dioni is going to be moving to Wolves from Dijon in France. Now, it's unclear as to whether he is coming to Wolves or whether he's going to Birmingham City, but there is strong rumours to suggest that he's in the Midlands at the moment. He's flown in from Bordeaux this morning, and there is a chance that he's speaking to both Wolves and Birmingham City. The Blues fans have got very excited because they've been linked to the big player, and they've gone onto Wikipedia and already said that he's a Blues player, but that's unconfirmed at the moment. And hopefully Wolves, if we're not favourites to sign him, we can hijack that deal. I don't know a lot about him, but he seems to have a good goal-scoring record. There are apparently talks between Wolves and Sebastian Larsson. Now, this is a story that I saw yesterday. I haven't seen anything about it today, so I don't know if there's any legs to it. Uh, but he would certainly be a little bit more experienced and some more quality in the centre of our midfield. Although, I think, we, I think personally we need to be looking for a bit more youth and giving people like Conor Ronan and Morgan Gibbs-White more of a chance than signing old hacks like Sebastian Larsson. Uh, in other news, Rob Edwards has been appointed the first team coach, first team manager, uh, sorry, at AFC Telford. There have also been strong rumours over the last couple of days that there is going to be some sort of uh, takeover by Foson to buy a AFC Telford to add them into the Wolves family. Now, those reports have been denied by Tim Spears of the Express and Star, but I think the fact that Rob Edwards has gone there as a coach or as a manager suggests that perhaps there is something going on there and that we're preparing for the future and giving Rob Edwards the opportunity to go and be a first team manager somewhere. One other little piece of interesting news I saw on Instagram yesterday that John Daddy Bodvarsson is still in Iceland doing some strength and conditioning training out there. Now, I don't know if there's anything more to read into that, whether he be leaving the club or perhaps he's just been given a little bit longer to recover from last season than everybody else. Unsure. Um, I do think it's a little bit strange that he hasn't come back to report back with everybody else on Monday uh, and then go from there and be advised as to the strength and the conditioning training that he needs. Perhaps I'm reading a little bit too much into that at the moment but I did think it was a little bit interesting that he was going missing. And finally, Paul Gladden. The deal has definitely gone through. He's gone back to Hercules in Holland, where he came from, only on a season-long loan, and he's pleased to be going back to Holland after a difficult year he described it as being at Wolves. He hasn't played a game since Walter Zenger was the manager. He only played 196 minutes last season. It was a very, very expensive deal for Wolves in terms of minutes played and what we received from him in terms of quality. But hopefully Fosun would have learnt from those mistakes now of just buying players willy-nilly. Also, quite interestingly, just off the top of my head now, I saw a picture earlier today of Prince Sonyangi on Instagram saying that he's ready to come back to Wolves, he's been in the gym, he's training hard, and perhaps he could be, be something to add to our midfield because he was not used properly under Walter Zenga. He was put out onto the left wing and all sorts of weird positions. Could he be the holding midfielder and the big centre midfielder that we've needed for the last couple of years? I'm not saying any of these rumours are true, but let me know what you think. Put it down in the comment section down below. Do you think we're going to be signing these Portuguese, these exciting young players and these fresh, exciting, fast, amazing players? Or do you think we're going to be signing players like Sebastian Larsson? Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.